Dear learners, welcome to the course Electromagnetic Fields. In this video, I am going to explain two null identities which are used in electromagnetics. The null identities are very important in the study of electromagnetics. These two null identities are First one is del cross del B is equal to 0. That is, the curl of the gradient of any scalar field is identically 0. For example, we consider E vector is electric field intensity. The del cross E vector is 0. Curl of E vector is 0 means it is a curl free vector, it is a conservative field. We know that electric field lines are streamlines. Uh, there is no uh, rotational property in the electric field. It is radially outward from the source. So, curl of E vector is 0. Hence, an irrotational or conservative vector field can always be expressed as the gradient of a scalar field. So, E vector is a negative gradient of V. Second identity is del dot del cross A vector is equal to 0. Second identity states that the divergence of the curl of any vector field is identically 0. That means we consider V vector. If del dot V vector is equal to 0, that is divergent of V vector is 0. That means it is solenoidal field. Then V vector is equal to del cross A vector. We will uh, prove these identities step by step. First I consider identity 1. Identity 1 is del cross del V is equal to 0. That is curl of gradient of any scalar is equal to 0. We know that the del operator can be represented in a Cartesian coordinate system. How we write it? Del is equal to dou by dou x a x vector plus dou by dou by a y vector plus dou by dou z a z vector. From this we write gradient of a scalar is a del b. Del B is equal to dou V by dou X A X vector plus dou V by dou Y A Y vector plus dou V by dou Z A Z vector. Next, we have to take the curl of del B. Del cross del B is equal to. The curl operation, how we write it, the first row is a uh, unit vector in a particular uh, coordinate system. The second row uh, is a del operator. The third row components are the uh, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y, dou v by dou e z. Now we find the determinant of the matrix. Or we generally we find, first we are going to write the a, uh, ax component. ax vector is dou square v by dou by dou e z minus dou square v by dou y dou e z. Next, we are going to write for the Ay component. The Ay component is it is uh, minus Ay. This is minus Ay vector dou square d by dou x dou z minus dou square d by dou x dou z plus for the Az component. Third uh, is Az component for the Az component dou square d by dou x dou y minus dou square d by dou x dou y. We observe that in the a x, a y, a z component all terms are equal. So, it is uh, the result will be 0. The del cross del b is equal to 0. So, you note here the a x component the first term it is dou square d by dou y dou z minus dou square d by dou y dou z. Same term. So, it is 0. Therefore, curl of gradient of any scalar is equal to 0. This is the first identity. 
The second identity is del dot del cross a vector is equal to 0. That is divergence of curl of any vector is equal to 0. We are going to prove this identity. First we consider a vector and Cartesian coordinate system. We know that how to write a vector in Cartesian coordinate system. a vector is equal to ax ax vector plus ay ay vector plus az az vector. Now we are going to write the curl of a vector. Curl of a vector in matrix form. The first row is the unit vectors in Cartesian coordinate system. The second row uh, elements are del operator. And the third row elements are the vector components of A vector. That is AX, AY, AZ. Now, we write the determinant of this matrix. We can write it as do AZ by do Y minus do AY by do AZ. AX vector plus do AX by do AZ minus do AZ by do X, AY vector plus do ay by do x minus do ax by do y a z vector. Next, we are going to uh, find the divergence of this del cross a vector. So, we consider this b vector is equal to del cross a vector. We assume that curl of a vector is a b vector. Already we know that curl of any vector field will be the vector quantity. So, P vector is equal to del cross A vector. Now, we are going to take the divergence for the B vector. Del dot B vector is equal to do Bx by do X plus do By by do Y plus do Bz by do Z. Now, the Bx uh, components are, this is the Bx component what we obtained in the del cross a vector. It is the bx component and next this is the by component and this is the bz component. Now we differentiate with respect to x, then differentiate with respect to y and third differentiate with respect to z. The dot product of ax dot ax becomes 1. Similarly, a y dot a y becomes 1, a z dot a z becomes 1. In other directions, it becomes 0. So, after the dot product, we can write it as rho squared a z by rho x rho y minus rho squared a y by rho x rho z plus rho squared a x by rho y rho z minus rho squared a z by rho y rho x plus rho squared a y by rho z rho x minus rho squared a x by rho z rho y. You know that the all each and these terms are um, getting cancelled. Uh, these two terms are equal and opposite. These terms are getting cancelled. Similarly, these two uh, terms are same. It will be getting cancelled. And this another term it also cancel. So, the result will be 0. So, therefore, the divergence of curl of any vector will be 0. I hope you would understand null identities used in electromagnetics. Thank you.